The Godfather and The Godfather Part II are two of the most iconic films in American history. See what the cast members of the two gangster epics have been up to since they played the members of the Corleone crime family. Marlon Brando is Vito Corleone. After bidding adieu to Broadway, Marlon Brando turned to movies, albeit a rocky start, starring in a decade of box office flops before being cast in The Godfather as mafia boss Don Vito Corleone. Brando contributed to many of his character's defining traits and even had a hand in the death scene. Brando, said, Here's how I play with kids, and took an orange peel, cut it into pieces that looked like fangs and slipped them into his mouth, director Francis Ford Coppola told Playboy. The role revitalized Brando's career, yielding him his second Oscar for Best Actor, though Brando famously refused the award to protest the industry's treatment of Native Americans. The Hollywood icon was featured in the hit's last tango in Paris, 1972, and Superman, 1978, and reunited with Coppola for Apocalypse Now, 1979. Brando's career fizzled out in the 80s and 90s amid personal issues, though he parodied his godfather role for the 1990 comedy The Freshman, co-starring Matthew Broderick. Coppola battled to cast the then-little-known Al Pacino in the lead role of Michael Corleone because the studio initially refused. The casting decision was the right choice, resulting in a Best Supporting Actor nomination for Pacino in 1973. In March 2022, Pacino told the New York Times that he was deeply honored by the reverence the film has received over the years, adding that it's a piece of work he was so fortunate to be in. Following his iconic performance as Vito's youngest son and successor, Pacino kicked off four consecutive years of Oscar nominations, including The Godfather, 1972, Serpico, 1973, The Godfather Part II, 1974, and Dog Day Afternoon, 1975. Pacino would go on to be nominated for Oscars for And Justice for All, 1979, Dick Tracy, 1990, and Glengarry Glen Ross, 1992, before finally taking home a statuette for Best Actor for 1992's Scent of a Woman. He received another Best Supporting Actor nomination for the 2019 Netflix crime drama The Irishman. Pacino's other major movie roles in the genre include Scarface, 1983, Carlito's Way, 1993, and House of Gucci, 2021. Since 2020, he has appeared on Amazon Prime Video's Hunters series.